Hello friends, welcome you all again to my video series for the e-commerce web application eShop. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I have programmed the invoice page in order to waive the details of the last payment done by the users. So let's go. If you can remember, in my previous video, I have purchased a product as Sony microphones. So this is the invoice that is responsible for that Sony microphone that, that purchase I have done in my previous video. So if you can remember that, uh, the product title is this Sony microphones and also uh, this is the unit price of that product and this is the quantity that means I have purchased only one product from that. And this is the total price. This total price was calculated by adding the product price to the delivery fee of this product okay so then here subtotal is also displayed and discount is also displayed and this is a grand total grand total is uh, is for this um, we can uh, we can calculate this grand total by subtracting this discount price from this subtotal as there is no any discount this grand total is also same as this subtotal and also uh, these are some auto generators these are also hard coded things and you can see here this is the invoice name of the uh, the name of the purchase the product purchased user's name and this is the address of that user and also this is the email of that user and this is the invoice number that means i'll show you it from the invoice table so if you can see here this is the invoice table and you can see this id of this invoice table is 6 for this uh, this total 5350 the, all these things are um, my testing purposes is. and you can see here this is the 6th row so you can see i have given it as 6 in order to gain the uh, id of from the invoice table and this is the date and time of the invoice that means uh, i have purchased it at this time and date okay so here uh, in this video my task is to show how I have programmed this invoice page in order to show the details of the purchase of the product. So then let's move to the code. In this code I'll show you it from this invoice.php uh, file. So here uh, okay if you can remember the buy now process that I have discussed in my previous video uh, after purchasing a product we have directly direct to the invoice page so you can see here after do, uh, after making the payment in a successful manner i have passed i have um, directed that user to the invoice page in this manner so you can see uh, by saving the invoice in automatic way by gaining order id and then product id then email of the logged user then amount the total amount of the product purchasing and also the quantity of the purchase products and by gaining all these things i have uh, passed that all these things to this save invoice.php file so i'll show you it to you here in this save invoice.php file um, okay here this you can see i have uh, started a session and also i have gained the connection file here and also this is the way i have uh, select all from the product and also product details I have gained and uh, finally this is the query that I have used in order to insert all these details to the invoice table in order to uh, program in the invoice table uh, invoice page also okay so then after saving this invoice um, again coming in this to this area and can see after saving that uh, invoice it echoes as one so i have checked whether here this is equal to one or not so if it is equal to one i have given this window.location invoice.php so that is the reason when a successful payment has been done by the user that user is directing to the invoice page and that invoice page is programmed in order to display all the details of the purchasing so here you can see i have given the id order id is passing through this get method uh, when I, when this user is directed to that invoice page 
and so I'll show you that invoice page also so here in this uh, invoice.php file so here in this case you can see here uh, this is the way I have checked I have gained the address of the imp so at the first at the top of this invoice page you can see this is the way I have gained the uh, logged users email and also this is the way I have gained the toad ID from the URL from the get method if you can remember so this is the way I have gained this executed uh, this query and also I have gained this is where I have gained the address of the user uh, and also the first name and last name of the user and this is the line 1 line 2 this address of the user and this user email I have gained and this is the way I have programmed this invoice page in order to show all the details about the purchasing process and you can see here the date of date time of the invoice and also uh, you can see here this old ID and uh, okay here this is the area that is responsible for showing all the details about this invoice uh, that means I have executed this query in order to gain the details from the invoice table and I have uh, created a variable as dollar subtotal as zero and you can see here this uh, product ID and also this old ID and uh, sorry the ID of the invoice table and also you can see the old ID the title of the product your dollar PR is for this uh, when I have a feature of it from this uh, product table I have stored that in this dollar PR variable uh, and I have gained the title of the product to this in this manner and the quantity uh, that the product has uh, the user has purchased and the total price and the subtotal this all these things here you can see I have not given discounts here I had hard coded this discount as no any discounts are available in this section so you can see here I have this is the way I have um, echoed the dollar subtotal to the all these two places subtotal and also for the grand total so these are the uh, labels I have given for displaying the notices and uh, all these things so okay this is the way I have programmed the invoice table um, and I think that you can gain you have gained some uh, knowledge about this so then um, this is the end of my video and thank you for joining with me in this video so let's meet with another video soon